Hi everyone, so if you're trying to manually install your printer drivers and when you get to the part where you have to specify which port you have connected the printer to the computer through so this part here and on this list here you're not able to locate USB 001 virtual printer port so for me I have USB 001 but if you don't have it then this video is for you. I figured out how you can still manually install your printer drivers and manually specify which port you've connected the, the printer through. So in order to show you what I did, I'm just going to close this and start from the beginning. So what I did is go to the start window start button and then just click on it and then type in printer. So once you type in printer, Printer and scanner will sh scanners will show up, so just click on that. And then once you click on that, this window will show up. And then at the top of that window, it should say, add a printer or scanner. So just click add a printer or scanner. Then it's going to scan for a few seconds. And then it's going to give you two options. And what you want to do is you want to click on the second option that says the printer that I want isn't listed. So click on that. And once you click on it, this list will show up. Let me just close this. Okay, so this list will show up. And on this list, you want to click the last option, the last option that says add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. So click on that. And once you have it clicked, click next. And then this part, normally what you would do here is that you would go on this drop down menu and then you would select USB 001. So if you don't have USB 001 on this list, then this is what you should do. Instead, you should click the second option here that says create a new port. So click that and then just make sure that it says local port in the drop down menu. So local port, right? So once you have that clicked, then click the next button. And then this text field should show up, right? And in this text field, we have to specify the name of the port through which we have connected the printer. So in order to do that, this is what we have to type into the box. We need to type in two backslashes, the name of your computer, one more backslash, and then the name of your printer, okay? So let's start by typing in the first two backslashes. And then, after we have typed in the two backslashes, let's find the name of your computer. In order to find the name of your computer, simply go to the start button again and then just type in name. Once you type in name, this will pop up. View your PC name. So just click on view your PC name. And then this should this about window should pop up. And in this window, look for device specification here. And then look for device name. The device name is the name of your computer. So once you have located device name, simply highlight it with your mouse and then right click on it and then copy. And then we can close that. And then we go back to the port name field and then we just right click on it and then we paste what we just copied. So now we have two backslashes, the name of your computer, and then we need to add another backslash. Okay, as such. And then we need the name of your printer. Now, to find the name of your printer, just go to the Start button again, the Windows Start button, and type in Printer. The option Printer and Scanner should show up, so click on that. And then look in the list of printers and scanners. So you can see that my printer is the HP LaserJet 1018. So I just need to know the name of my printer, HP LaserJet 1018. So I'm just going to... Go back to the port name box and then type in HP LaserJet 1018. So once I have that typed, I just click OK. And you see, it will take me then to the page where I can install the driver. So you might not be seeing the same thing, what you might, but what we are both seeing is we are both going to have the manufacturer on the left and the printer on the right. So you can see I only have three options here. So normally what you will do is click the Windows Update button, this button right here. And what Windows Update does is it's going to update the list of manufacturers to fully show all the printer manufacturers 
with their different printer models. So it is in your interest then to click the Windows Update button and it will, might take several minutes to update, so be patient. But once it updates, then just look on the list of manufacturers, just scroll through it and then find your manufacturer. And once you find your manufacturer, click on it and then it should show the printers that they have on the right. So and then on the right, just select the printer model that you have. As you can see for me, since uh, my printer already works, I already have HP here and I only already have HP, uh, the list of printers HP LaserJet 1018. So I don't need to install it again, but I already have it. So let me just select it and then click next, right? So for you, it would install it, but for me, it has already been installed. So I, I don't need to reinstall it. So I will just uh, click on use driver that is currently installed and click next. Okay, so it's offering to install a second copy, but for you, it would be the first copy. But that's about it. That's all you would need to uh, specify the port and then install your driver. I hope that uh, this tutorial helps you out. And if you keep having further problems, please do consider simply going on Google and typing in the name of your printer and typing in after that drivers. Very often you can easily download the drivers that you need for your printer off of the website of the printer manufacturer. If you still have problems, uh, consider reaching out to the customer support of either the printer manufacturer or the establishment or, or service where you bought your printer. I uh, hope this helps and um, good luck.